So number 16 says for each object, its surface area S A and some dimensions are given. Calculate the dimension indicated by the variable. So we are looking for S. We don't know what S equals here in this diagram. You guys see that okay? So the surface area, let's, let's take a look at the formula for surface area for a cone. So that is the wraparound part there of the cone part. That's pi times R times S. And then we have to add on to that the area of the circle underneath, which is pi R squared. So that's the surface area formula for a cone. We are given the surface area right here. We are given, well, pi is a constant. We always know pi. We can determine R. That is half of this diameter that's given. So R is 24 millimeters. And S is what we're trying to find. So we're given everything except for S. So we're going to fill in all of this stuff. And then we're going to solve for or, or rearrange the equation so that we can isolate for S. So let me just show you how that happens. So we fill in all our values. 7, 0, 1, 2 is the surface area. Don't worry about the units. We'll come back to the units at the end. Pi, uh, well, we're in grade 10 here now, we're going to try to make sure we use our pi button so we have all the decimals so that we don't sacrifice any precision there. So if you don't have a pi button or it's tough to get to, what you can do is use at least 3.14159. Okay, you have to use at least that many decimals, then you won't sacrifice any precision. So pi button, preferably, or this number right here. R is 24. S is just S. We leave it as S for now because that's what we're trying to find. Plus, again, pi, 3.14159, times 24 squared. All right, so that's how you set up your equation. And then we have to isolate for S. So this is kind of your basic algebra. Um, we want to get this all by itself right here. How do we do that? Well, we are going to subtract this right here. We're going to subtract this value from both sides. OK, and let's do that on our calculators here. So I'm going to turn that on. Let's clear that off. So pi times 24 squared is? 1809.557. So subtract that from both sides. And that will cancel off with this, plus and minus. That's gone. So what is 7012 minus, use your answer button so you don't have to retype all those decimals. That's pretty smart to do that. So 5202.44. Um, uh, 52.04463. Uh, All right. Now, this over here, let's evaluate this part. So let's do pi times 24. So 24 times pi equals this number, 75.398. S. Okay, so does everyone, if, does everyone know where we're at here? This is kind of like the equation, and now I've subtracted, and I've got this second step there. Everyone okay with that? If you're okay with that, now what you do is you divide to get S all by itself, okay? So what do we divide by? This 75 number, okay? And that will give us just S on this side, and that's what we are looking for. So, uh, so 5202.442, uh, um, divided by, and I'm going to use the previous answer so I can get all the decimal places, divided by answer equals. So I get 68.999. Or that's 69.0. 69.0. Nearest tenth of a unit. Okay, now that's what I get. Let's double check back of the book. Anybody got 16A? Anybody seen the answer for 16A? Yes, that matches what you got, the back of the book. Okay, so that's how we solve for S. Good? Any questions about that?